Hi guys, Evil here. Welcome to my lab. And finally, I have the KZ Aptex here in the lab. So the Aptex uh, version is something that I want to look at for a while now because I have a TRN BT3. I really like that. Uh, but uh, I really liking also the KZ uh, way of doing it. Like uh, it doesn't have that kind of headband kind of design. It's a more kind of sleeker kind of look. It's easier to bring with you. It's sort of like your Jaybird's kind of design. You know, over something like uh, the Samsung kind of design right here. Um, so this will be a sort of more complex pack compared to your uh, TRN BT3 so really something interesting for me and of course uh, it will it should be better sounding than the KZ counterpart so we're gonna take a look at it unbox it and give you guys my first impressions here in this video but of course we review budget fight to mid fi all the gear so if you do that consider subscribing and also I bought this with my own money links down below if you wanna support the channel you can get it from AliExpress. Um, so let's open this up. Okay, so it says a KZ Bluetooth uh, cable upgrade wire right here. And here you have an MMC XR2 pin. You have 10 meters of effective range right here. And of course, this is an Aptex. So for those of you guys who doesn't know, Aptex enables you to not have any delay when you're uh, playing it with the Bluetooth connection. And also the bitrate uh, transfer is higher through Bluetooth. So we have a sort of better sound in a way. Um, I have used that extensively with the BT3 and works like a charm with my Android phone. Um, it's not that, you know, annoying compared to the KZ Bluetooth one um, that you have delays, especially when watching YouTube videos, which I do a lot um, in my day-to-day -day usage. So let's open this up. This is around $12, so uh, more expensive than your KZ Bluetooth adapter. So here, um, let's look at the package. So you have, uh, um, I'm pretty sure this is the unit itself. And yeah, this is why I like this because it looks really compact right here. Okay, so that is the package right there. And right off the bat, guys, if you compare this, this is the BT3. And this is the KZ1. Look at how small that is, especially if it's in your bag. Let's put it aside first and let's look at what's inside the package. So you have a USB right here is it USB-C though I'm pretty sure it's just micro USB and indeed you have a micro USB right here so yeah typical of course I wish it was uh, USB-C um, but that is what we get with the brands right now of course uh, some manuals right here um, let's look at uh, some information so you have a choice actually of A pin B pin and also MMCX so if you have other uh, earphones, maybe you can get some other connectors um, and the standby time up to 100 hours, charging time 2 hours, working time up to 8 hours. So this is more than your KZ uh, Bluetooth cable because the KZ just lasts around 4 to 6 hours. So yeah, this is longer and usually uh, for using Aptex, it also improves your battery life as well. Um, so yeah, it's uh, kind of nice that you have that kind of option. And uh, also, this is not, uh, you know, that more expensive compared to the KZ connector. So the BT3 is actually a lot more expensive. The BT3 is around $20 to $30. This is just under uh, $20, around $12 to $15. So yeah, definitely this is uh, cheaper. Let's look at the cable now. Okay, so yeah, it does immediately sort of feels like the KZ one, um, but you have more um modules right here so okay so this is uh, how it looks like it's uh, quite a bit longer compared to your kz module if you look at this it's uh, almost like 1.5 times longer right here so yeah it's uh, still in the compact territory i mean compared to maybe the bt3 you have the headband thing right here this definitely feels uh bigger um, compared to your BT3 so if you look at this yeah they're almost the same length here but because of the headband kind of design of the BT3 um, it really looks uh, and feels more bulky right here but it does have the same two uh, modules here in the KZ Aptex um, but yeah let's look at the build now of the Aptex version so here you have your memory wire right here and uh, yeah it's uh, something that you need to mold again unfortunately um, i prefer the you know pre 
molded one and of course you have the two pin connector right here so both of them are in two pin and you have a left and right indicator here also as well and here you have two modules here um you have uh, the charging module and also the play and pause button so definitely this is a notch up compared to the old um you know non-aptex version the non-aptex version feels really cheap this is a notch up you have the kind of more minimalist design right here um so yeah definitely that's a good sign that there's a better product and you have the charging port right here less substantial if you are holding it in the hand this is heavier feeling this definitely feels more substantial in the aptex version so here in the other module there's uh, no buttons or whatsoever here um, it, this may be uh, the container for uh, the batteries um, or maybe the bluetooth module right here yeah but that is another module here so yeah if you are looking for the most compact thing definitely the kz non aptex one it uh, just has one module right here uh, but yeah, it's not bad still with the Aptex version. Um, in terms of the, the cable, the cable that they include here is a little bit thicker compared to your uh, non-Aptex version. If you can see here, guys, it's a little bit thicker right here. So it's like a one millimeter uh, thick um, cable right here. So yeah, definitely that feels more substantial compared to the TRNBT3. Um, it is uh, eerily similar. Um, the almost feel like they're using the same cable right here so yeah they're almost the same here um in the bt3 so yeah i would say that uh, definitely this is a notch up from your kz bluetooth one um and the what i really like about this is it doesn't have the headband kind of design um so it is less bulky so i'm gonna show you guys why i don't like the trn bt3 so while it is more stable in the air um, definitely it's a lot bigger so as you can see guys uh, you always have this kind of thing in your neck if you're using the BT3 so that may be uh, actually a plus for some um, especially when you're commuting or when you're running uh, it will be easier for you to hold this in the ear um, but uh, yeah with the, this kind of headband design it's quite bulky uh, and it does uh, you know sort of accumulate some heat after some time maybe is not for everybody um, so if you want sort of a more compact design and this is this is something that i would consider so if you can see guys when you wear it around your neck it's just wires here not you know the whole headband kind of thing um, and of course if you crumple it up if you you know store it it's not it doesn't have any memory whatsoever so it will be easier to store in your bag okay so let's try this out with uh, the TFZ Exclusive 3. So I haven't used the Exclusive 3 for a while now because uh, yeah, I uh, have a, a lot of other uh, earphones here in this channel. So also it's using the old KZ connector, not the new one, not the KZ one. So again, I wish KZ just sticks with one type of connector because it's really confusing. And definitely uh, this doesn't feel super duper stable right here. I am not sure why. Yeah, but it doesn't feel that stable. Um, maybe it's uh, the exclusive 3 right here. Um, but uh, let's try the other one. This is not a super duper flush fit if you can see. Maybe it's the exclusive 3's issue right here. Um, let's uh, try to have a first listen here and give you guys my first impressions. So this is how it looks like. It is not uh, that long um, in your neck, so that's uh, not a problem. And it's also quite light, I mean, compared to the BT3. So let's do an initial pairing right here with my Galaxy Note. So right off the bat, there's a little bit of noise here. It's a little bit of white noise that I heard. So right off the bat, there's good detail here. There's good instrument separation. The sound stage is above average here. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, very good sounding. It is better sounding than the KZ. Definitely. There's more detail retrieval here This resolves better. I'm gonna try Aptex with the YouTube video. Definitely the Aptex is now working with my YouTube video It definitely syncs up. So there's no delay here. If there's a delay There's maybe like a 50 ms delayed. So that is kind of negligible especially for most people So yeah, definitely Aptex works here, which is a uh, very nice so in the kz connector no aptex of course 
So yeah, that is uh, my first unboxing of uh, the KZ Aptex. I'm pretty happy with the purchase here. Um, to be honest, I may use this more than the BT3 just because it's uh, a lot more compact here. Um, this just looks like uh, you know the Jaybirds X3 in terms of the package. It's not, it doesn't have the headband kind of thing, which is an advantage for me. Definitely, if you like more stability, you should get the TR in BT3. Uh, but for me, I value compactness more, and still you have the Eero kind of design here. Um, so I'm still okay with this. It's still uh, stable for me, especially if you form the Eero in your ear. It will still uh, hold up when you are wearing this for the whole day. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This has a good sound, um, nice sound stage, and of course, Aptex. I can watch YouTube all day, and uh, of course, uh, more battery life here. Of course, uh, I will put it through its spaces. I will also do a new video comparison with the KZ and also the BT3, and uh, maybe decide a winner. What is the best sounding? What's the advantage of each? Definitely, that will come here in this channel. Of course, if you learn something, leave a like, and of course, subscribe for more content like this in the future. If you have additional questions, let me know down below because this is just again an unboxing and first impressions. I'm having fun, too much fun with the unboxings here. Um, and of course, I'm, I'm gonna try to answer as much as I can. If you learn something, leave a like and of course, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.